Hello friends, what is up? How's it going? It's uh, Thursday, 11.20 a.m. 72 degrees. I don't know why I always tell you the temperature. I guess I, I wanted to be a weatherman or something. <laughs> so today, just uh, heading nowhere in particular, just going to head to the shopping district called The Domain here in Austin. And uh, the reason for that is I'm testing out a uh, new setup here. I'm going on a about a three hour one way trip on Saturday to this uh, bike rally called the Harvest Classic. And uh, like I said, it's three hours one way from my uh, house. And I want a video tape the ride obviously but a couple things stand in the way one is battery power on this uh, insta 360 and the other is the card size so card size I, I, I've got that covered now I've got a 256 uh, gig card so that gives me almost five hours of filming time uh, and then the battery what I'm trying is I've hooked up the Insta to a power brick because I don't have a USB on my bike uh, as of yet. I don't know if I ever will, but uh, you can run a power brick on the uh, Insta and I'm just testing to see how well it works if the power brick continues to supply power because uh, sometimes this power brick will will shut off after a while for some reason when I'm like charging a phone and if the phone is fully charged then it will like oh it will shut off so I'm just kind of testing that out and see how it works out but that should give me many hours of, of uh, filming time the battery that comes with the Insta it lasts me usually about an hour and it cuts out so that's one of the main reasons I'm taking this ride today. I'm just filming to see how long it will last and if it, if it will in fact charge and all that good stuff. The other thing I wanted to talk about quickly was um, I'm still learning a lot of stuff in terms of uh, well, not just riding motorcycles, but also filming and moto vlogging and YouTubing and all these things. And I found out that what the heck was that guy doing over there? Oh, oh no, he's washing windshields. Uh, you can't see him; he's over there. Don't worry about it. Anyway, um, so I, I reply. I, I really enjoy people, you know, when they comment <coughs> on the videos and. Um, I, I make it a point to, to respond to every comment, which I thought I was doing, but what I found out is that I guess there's a setting that some people, you can set it, and your comments are not visible to the public, which means I can't see them on the main page, on the, you know, I just go to the main, my main uh, channel page, and that's where I comment. I was uh, in the studio, like YouTube studio back end or whatever it is. I rarely go back there, but that's where you can check all your analytics and all that stuff. I guess, you know, once you're monetized and you've got quite a few followers, it's a lot more important to check that out on a regular basis. But I was back there and I saw a tab for comments and I clicked on it and I, I saw that there was quite a few comments that I never saw and never responded to. And I was like, what the hell, man? And so I, I went through and did some likes and comments, and uh, but some of them dated back too far, you know, like five months ago. Um, and I just felt really bad. And apologies if I never responded to you, and that was the reason. So live and learn. I'm learning. So now I I making a point to check the comments section back there too, you know, every other day or so, just to make sure. <clears throat> I'm seeing all the comments. Um, and speaking of comments and the channel in general, I just passed 400 subscribers, 
which is uh, amazing. It started off as just a fun little way to show my bike to my friends on the west coast and east coast that we couldn't see each other because of COVID. And because I got so many views of that walk around video in the beginning, I was like, hey, this is kind of fun. And uh, just kept going with it. Now I've got like 92 or 91 videos or something like that. So that's awesome. <clears throat> Thank you very much for subscribing. And uh, as you know, I'm, I'm pushing forward. I'm trying to get to 1,000. <clears throat> so if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Think about it anyways. And help me out. I'm trying to get to at least 1,000 so I can monetize the channel and then make a little bit of money back from Google for all the advertisements they run in front of these videos. And hopefully I can get a little bit of gas money every month for the bike. That would be that would be nice. But uh, anyways, here I am in, uh, this is the domain shopping district here. I'm just going to kind of take a right and go down into the heart of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Lots of restaurants here and bars, pubs and shopping. Apple store, all that. Um, there are some anchor stores, but this is an outside mall. So there's no, I mean, other than the anchor stores, you can go inside, obviously, at Macy's and stuff like that. But there's no internal passageways. You're just basically uh, walking around on the sidewalk here. And because we're in Texas, you don't have to worry about the weather too much. Even during the, uh, even during the winter, it's usually not not too cold but that's all I really wanted to talk about today is a quick video and most of it's just going to be me going home and editing and seeing what what happened with this charging brick and if it actually worked uh, got a longhorn on the front of his truck there welcome to Texas Here's the Apple store on the right. But I had a, I had a business meeting the other day down the street um, at the Yard House. And I haven't been to the Yard House. I know I was the last time I was in there was in San Diego years ago. But uh, I had some good grub in there. I had a salmon. Watch where you're going there, mister. I had salmon with uh, roasted vegetables and... Uh, like Parmesan garlic mashed potatoes or something like that. Quite delicious. So it looks like they've got lights up here on the side all ready for Christmas on the lamp posts. So if you're ever in the Austin area, do come check this out. It's a fun place. Walk around, eat, shop. As part of this, there's a lot of, you know, apartments too. So a lot of young people live down here young professionals and there is a an area for the high-end shopper up top there's a part one of the streets there oh, there's the yard house right there one of the uh, streets is uh, got all the luxury stuff but uh, to be honest I don't come here too often Except for with my wife sometimes, she's going to the uh, cosmetic places to buy her cosmetic stuff. Alright, well let's uh, call it a day here. Thanks for joining me. And again, if you haven't subscribed, do consider doing so. And I have 91 videos behind me now on a variety of topics of things I've bought for the bike and how I've put them on the bike, how they look. Uh, just common rides around. couple ride outs with friends some bike meetups so and most of my videos aren't too long unless it's a how-to video then they get a little longer but uh, thanks again and have a great weekend see you next time bye bye